In order to use the email in ClickSlow, you're going to need something like SendGrid. So on the ClickSlow sales page where it says to send a reasonable number of emails, you'll need to pay $20 a month. This is what they mean. They're talking about using SendGrid and connecting this through SMTP. So this is pretty straightforward, but there's a couple of things where you can run into hiccups. Um, so you'll follow along with setting up your account in SendGrid and then you'll set up a sender identity. So that will be like your name that people see when it comes through their email. And then the trickiest part is the authenticating your sending domain. So let's make sure I don't mess it up by going back in here. Um, this was a previous one because uh, it took me a while to figure out how the frick to do this. So basically it's going to give you um, a... No, I don't want to redo this, so let me pull up the picture. I had to do some Googling after I tried many, many times, and this was interesting. So in SendGrid, it will show you when you need to add these CNAME records in your domain. So this is my domain, Google Domains. Anywhere that you have a domain, you're going to find DNS and make new CNAME records. But it's going to tell you to copy and paste this in and then put this data in that field. Now, here's the interesting part. You need to just put this part in. Leave your domain off. Same with this. Leave the domain off. It's going to automatically put that in there. But when you're entering the data in the fields, just put the first part of it. SendGrid's going to tell you, copy and paste all of this, but actually only copy and paste this part and then whatever they tell you to put on that side. So that is what I learned here. Then it will ask you to verify and it should verify pretty quickly. It will tell you that it can take up to 48 hours for DNS to propagate but it's very unusual for it to take that long. So if you're not getting a successful verified within uh, 30 minutes to an hour, then try again. Uh, so that's the only complicated part. But once you've done all those pieces, then you can purchase a plan here, integrate it in your ClickSlow, and then you'll be good to go with sending your newsletters and marketing emails. Okay, now we're back over here in ClickSlow. So right now I'm in settings. So when you're first in ClickSlow, it's going to be all the way down at the bottom. When you click on it, it will come in here. And to set up the email, we're going to go to email services and it will be first connected to lead connector. And if you want to send more emails, then you'll need to set up the send grid. So add service. And here's the mistake that I made. I said, oh, Gmail's on the list. I'll just do that one. Does not work because Gmail doesn't allow you to send very many emails, like a hundred a day, which even with my small list of 350, obviously that's not gonna work. So you need to go to send grid and um, so this, there's instructions you can follow for how to do this, but it is also a little bit confusing because this is not your SendGrid username. This is your API key. So let's head, and here we thought we were done with the SendGrid page. Okay, log in. SendGrid requires ridiculous things for their um, password and, of course, two-factor authentication as well. Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay, so, um, is this the one that we want? Mm, no, it's under settings. Okay, so not under email API, even though API is what we're doing. It is under settings down here, API keys. So we're going to create a new key except I'm not actually going to, but give it full access, name it click slow or whatever you want. And then it will give you two things. It will give you the key ID and it will give you this secret key. And then back over in click slow, you're going to put username is going to be API key. Email will be your email with SendGrid. Password will be that secret API key. 
then you save it and it will connect. And then click down here to make that the primary one. And then you will be able to send your emails effectively. And next we are going to go to the next video for some more of the setup that you'll want to get done to create the foundations of your ClickSlow account.